only in Ohio. That is exactly where we are today in World Box with all of the counties. Now, I've never actually taken a look at the Ohioan counties, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Wait, why does this minimap up here have North Dakota highlighted red? And it looks like for the most part, everything is accurately named. We have the Washington County this way. We should also keep in mind which counties hold the big cities. So Franklin has Columbus and Montgomery has Dayton. There's Cleveland, Ohio and that, which I'm not going to pronounce. Oh yeah, there is a Miami of Ohio. The only reason why I know that is because there's like a college football team that is named Miami University, but they have to say Ohio behind it. Now this is what if Ohio was an island. So actually a lot of the coastal counties, the ones that aren't normally um, with a port, they have boats out here. So some are going to be landlocked in the middle, but there is a chance that some also get, you know, I don't know, some boats, some sort of port harbor. When will the Michigan fleet attack? That's what I want to know. Now my next question is, are all these humans or are there like some orcs, elves, and dwarves stashed in there somewhere? I wouldn't be surprised surprised to be honest. This noble Ohio County looks to be pretty developed. One of the more developed. They got a windmill here. Some of these other ones don't necessarily have a windmill. Then again, a lot of them have windmills. Chaos has erupted everywhere. I don't even know where to begin. We got buildings already being lit on fire. Arrows flying across borders. Of course, some of these countries already have like open border agreements, so it's going to be hard to see who exactly they're at war with. Well, actually, maybe not since like sometimes the army will give you a direct path on where they're heading. Wow, population is just tanking in this county. They start off at 200. Uh, there's just like a massive fire over here. They're down to 32. Pe These people are just getting utterly demolished. Okay, that just got taken over. So uh, this place, which I'm not going to be able to pronounce, Poodle. What? Why? Why did you name it that? It's already going to be hard enough for me. Wait, did this place get taken over? You did get taken over by a, a county that's halfway across the state or island. I don't even know what to call you anymore. Jackson's at 30. Th they were at 61. Now, okay, they just got taken over, wiped out completely. Absolute chaos in all areas. What happened to the big windmill nation? Oh, they're just still doing fine. They have have almost 300 people. Problem is population levels are just going to completely like tank. They're just going to collapse. How are you supposed to keep up with all the fighting that's going on? Because everything's so compacted together too. Is that like a little tree house? Pickaway is just trying to figure out what to even do. They have trees being grown, but that's it. Uh, this fire has just been rampaging. Maybe you shouldn't have a fire while there's also a, like a na natural fire. What is that city name called? I don't know if I want to pronounce that. There's an Ottawa in what? what is this, Ohio? What are these names? Okay, I can't even keep up with all this. Uh, there's a bunch of dead kings and wars happening. Noble's now up to 400 people because they continue to take over neighboring counties. They're crossing the border into Morgan. There's also a random uh, thunderstorm that's like coming across the island. Lightning is striking. So even if you're not in a war, it's likely that you still have something on fire. Oh, these guys are actually in a war. Wow, these guys are decked out. Look at this guy. Is that a giant? There's literally a wise giant on this county's side and his name is Hash. What an epic name. He's got all this special armor too. This guy's too OP. You don't even need the rest of these dudes. Just send that one guy in. How's anyone supposed to fight Hash? See if we can find the next county that's more than likely going to fall. Maybe Muskingum, which actually they have a couple of different areas that they control. You have to take over more places in order to gain more population, but if you do that, then you might also just lose most of your population in the war itself. Oh, look at these guys sending a huge wave of people. A lot of these counties are not going after neighboring counties. They're going across the map for some reason. They're sending them through like long journeys. These guys are just chilling by a windmill. Uh, there are wars like pretty much it seems like everywhere. I can't imagine Jefferson is going to survive for very long with under a 100 population, but maybe if they just try to lie low. <coughs> These two archers, wait, is that Hash again? That is Hash. He's still out here going. They're trying to defend this territory. Oh, Hash is going down. He's being surrounded. I don't care how big and wise you are, man, and how cool your name is. Oh, he's, oh, he, oh luckily we don't have to witness his death. It was hidden behind the trees. Man, he just got absolutely ganged up on. Holmes is down to 91 people. There's also some naval fighting happening, but not a whole lot out here. Who's this poor guy that's holding this banner that's getting I don't know maybe he was just way beyond enemy territory Adams here is at war with uh Columbiana as well as Mercer up here Mercer County and they have is it Pike who, who is this oh that's just a separate I see you you control this random territory the counties don't look big but some counties do own like you know two or three towns by now look at this force getting sent through Fairfield wow are you like uh burning down the crops as you walk by what was all that here's where the battle begins as they slowly are trying to just probably do a little bit of damage they don't necessarily need to kill the other like uh person's soldiers Just every little you know burn down some houses they've already burned down three problem is, is like both all the armies are decked out with stuff oh they've burned down at least like six oh they've caused at least a million dollars of 
real estate damage. That's so much worse. That's the, the cost of that is so much worse than human lives. Oh, you're fighting Noble. That's like the big place. I was expecting them to win, maybe. But look, the mansion fell now. They're still going after more houses. This is going to cause their internal population just to tank. You're under 200. You're in a war. You can't really have people making babies in a war. It's difficult. Well, I guess you can. But look, there's no houses over here. They're literally getting to your most like population density area. All the density of where people live are, is getting burned down first. You need to build the houses over here. Put them in the mines or something, maybe. Oh, wow. This place also has been pretty wrecked. They left the statue alone, though. That was nice. What is that? Is that a, a broken harbor now? There's at least two wars going on, two different battles happening. Uh, Holmes is down to 77 population, but as the invading force, is this reinforcements coming on through? That is so many dudes. They're all, they're all just moving through while there's a separate battle happening here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, these guys got taken over. The empire that I thought was going to do the best, uh, they're now taken over by Franklin. Franklin's at 276 population. I thought Pike and Adams was at war, but maybe they stopped that. Oh, there's a nice tornado just going on by, completely obliterating the county of Brown, but they're not losing. I don't see this number dropping heavily, surprisingly. Okay, counties are gonna, or tornadoes are actually gonna have a lot of damage because of everything so compacted together. Everything is so dense in this world. Even boats are now taking a little bit of damage. There goes that fountain. Brown is like the equivalent of like a nation like Chile. They're just long, pretty much long and skinny. It's a water spout, but at the same time, it's kind of also a tornado on the dirt. Yeah, it's going back on the dirt. How is Brown even alive? What what even is this? What is this? Yeah, maybe keep your military away from the massive tornado. That would be a good idea. Oh, maybe you don't actually have that choice. You should probably get open borders to get them out of there. I like how two armies are meeting inside of uh, neutral territory, just kind of wrecking their lands. They're fighting these forests. Wow, there's a lot of dead people just on the ground. Finally, a fight up this way between Columbiana and uh, Mohanin, but Mohanin has had half their buildings burnt, down to 79 population. They have a lot of archers, though. Those archers are so powerful. Powerful. They can do damage at a distance. So when you send your melee units in, these guys are just getting lit up. You just, yeah, you just have to run away. Oh, wow. They actually took them over somehow. They're maybe culturally more powerful. Although it looks like the, uh, yeah, that land is still definitely being battled over. Oh my goodness. There are literal battle. There's battles happening everywhere in, in the Ohio state. Okay. This is probably a, the most normal day in Ohio that we've seen so far. Constantly colors changing. Delaware's down to seven people. Why did there all of a sudden just start to be like a world war happening? Ottawa looks like they might be collapsing soon. Soon. Yes, they've actually lost a huge chunk. They lost half their territory somehow. Miami of Ohio is still doing okay. Wow, these guys are getting big. This is where um, this is where Cleveland is, I think. Cleveland's at 250. A lot of burned down houses, a lot of black houses. Athens looking pretty giant with over 300 people here. Franklin's at over 500, but that's probably because they control enclaves. Yeah, look, they've got a, a huge military stationed over here. Uh, Ohio is really starting to consolidate. There is one county that's about to take over here soon enough. Richland also doing pretty pretty good. 300 people live here. Whoa, Lucas is big territorial wise. I don't think they have the army though to protect all this. Some fighting happening in the southwest corner as the tornado still rages on. These guys got really unlucky with this tornado. It just doesn't go away. That's the thing about this game. Those natural disasters are killer. 200 people here in Athens, but uh, these guys have 300. They just don't have the territory to show for it. What is going on right there? Is there a civil war? What was that giant T? Water and I don't, I don't know what this is. I'm okay. Athens is looking like they're running away with it. They have taken out Washington, I noticed, or at least, oh wait, no, I think Monroe might have taken out Washington. Musking gum is down to a hundred people. This is going to be a huge war. Whenever like two consolidate, like two nations or three nations consolidate all the sides, all the edges, and that's only a matter of time. The arrows are still flying. I got to imagine some of the really powerful uh, military men have probably dropped dead by now. There's just been a lot of wars happening. Belmont might be next as Cleveland slowly is culturally starting to, yep, it's any moment now. Gotta rebuild all these houses though, bro. Is it worth it to just take everything over this fast? Oh, these guys are gonna get into a war with Athens here soon enough. They got 400 people. Gonna try really, really hard to not continue to just say only in Ohio this whole video. 33 people here. You're getting actually very lucky somehow. Oh, now there's like several wars. They're just all going after these guys. Oh, I think there might have been a rebellion. Belmont got eight people. 270, 260, 230. Butler is at 444 as the tornado luckily is just sitting off in the corner. They don't have too many, uh, like, destructed houses. That's another thing to look out for. Franklin's got nothing destroyed. Well, actually, I shouldn't have said that. Okay. It's also possible that their borders are getting eaten up. Oh, man. These guys, how are you even alive still? They got a lot of land, but everything is, like, burned. It's Detroit. Okay, so that uprising just, like, collapsed, and now, I don't know, uh, slowly these guys are gonna retake that stuff, but it's gonna take some time. Athens is at 500 population, but they're trying to figure out, oh, they did wipe out that nation in the middle, or that county in the middle, whatever you want to call it. They also have a harbor, but it's not a very big one. They need more 
start like naval they probably need a navy that's at least going to help them that 600 people they are fighting down here they're smack dab in the middle of the map so that means a lot of counties can start a coalition against them if they want they're going after some of these weaker places franklin that at 100 population can't pronounce that oh here's the next ones to go but who takes them over i think everyone's going to get a little piece of them unless it doesn't collapse i think it looks like some yeah some pieces are going down oh there it goes it's mostly going to go up here columbus starts i think in the middle of the who owns columbus i think it's athens butler really needs franklin they need this land desperately i'd say again taking out the guy just holding a banner look at all this the poor guy i mean he doesn't he's not just holding a banner they are trying to run away he's literally trying he's running for his life okay they've retreated back they have completely and utterly uh destroyed the franklin population little battle happening between these guys in the northwest corner and that has been burned to the ground oh, wait no actually didn't get burned to the ground whoa wait is athens losing land something really bad is happening to athens here a little bit maybe they got a bit too big again they still only control a very small harbor monroe much bigger harbor and they have a similar population oh that's because they have all this up here how'd they get all this the next small county i think is destined to collapse like this guy that is just walking on by all these military dudes the regular humans just walking by look pretty funny compared to the army guys that is this exact face that i'm making right now oh man he's weak butler now at over a th or close to a thousand population so they've really turned things around whereas athens has kind of like slowed down oh yeah things are being burnt to the ground so that's like messing with things it's messing with some of these established empires there's also i think demons that might be rising up uh these guys are literally on fire but he's still trying his best to shoot this poor guy down and he couldn't even do that. Oh, he's deceitful and peaceful, but he's seven. How is he? How does he have these traits? And he's seven. How are you still alive and you're seven? There's also a psycho with a uh, bloodlust here. There's probably a lot of psychos on this map. We are in Ohio after all. When does the Eldritch horrors start attacking beyond human comprehension? I know there's some cryptids hiding somewhere in the forest as well. This has been such a crazy battle royale. Oh man, yeah, Monroe's starting to lose their population. This weird enclave here. I don't even know how they got that in the first place. Militaries are definitely a lot weaker. They They've definitely been running through soldiers, and I don't think they're making enough babies to put more of them into the soldiers. Oh, so you can just, like, uh, I guess, sail across the Lake Erie sign thing. I was wondering about that. Once again, the tornado is back, causing such a ruckus, throwing around their people, throwing around these poor citizens of Butler. This is a small tornado, though. It doesn't look like it's as big. Did it, did it lose size or something? Or is this, like, it's showing that it's slowly dying? Like, it's slowly gonna go away pretty soon. I knew those tornadoes stay around for a while, but it's getting kind of ridiculous. Monroe still striving, still trying to keep this land over here actually causing a lot of trouble for the uh the cleveland county it was a massive asteroid that just hit right here uh the earthlings or the ohioans got really lucky because of that that could have been horrible there are several battle battles but they are minor battles butler got uh the monroe enclave the northern enclave that was near the border of michigan athens is trying its best to lie low is lawrence gonna finally collapse uh i don't it looks like it's yeah i think that's probably what's gonna happen this is i actually can't even tell what's going on because there's so many Bodies moving around. Okay, Lawrence is definitely dead. All right, finally Lawrence is gone. Butler got that. They're at 1,200 population. Meanwhile, yes, Cleveland is about to fall. Does Athens get all that or does Monroe? Monroe has been such a pain in their side, to be honest. Yeah, these guys are getting rolled through right now. Monroe's almost gone next. So finally, Athens. There's going to be a huge war. I think I can see it happening right now. Oh, there already is a fight between these. Oh, that's actually smart. Butler's attacking them now, trying to, like, at least get their population down. Looks like they're actually going to lose stuff, too. They are losing things. Meanwhile, Monroe's about to collapse completely. There's 14 Morovians or whatever you want to call them. These guys are just trying to chill. They're trying to go to Michigan, I think. Athens is definitely next to collapse. They have to be. Oh, there's a huge military force that's going back. They know what they're about to face. They are ready to dine in hell tonight. I'm assuming. I don't know if that's what they're saying, but oh wow, Athens got some more pop- they did have more population than they lost it. These storm clouds roll over this crazy battle. The bloods are running red. The bloods- the rivers, I mean. The rivers. Ah, I messed that up. Another tornado, of course, it's hitting Athens this time. I guess that's fair. I mean, Butler had to deal with it for most of this game anyways. I hope you guys are ready up here. There are literal conflicts happening all around- oh wow, it's pretty much over. Uh, there were many battles surrounding- they burned it down. They burned the whole thing down. Now they just have to take on the last one. There's still 200 people living here, though. Tornado is causing some problems. Uh, you guys probably need to attack right now or it's over. Athens is going to be, oh, wow, you took that over. Okay, wait a second. Uh, it's not over, over, but it probably is. These guys are two and a half times bigger. Or maybe they'll be peaceful and this is just going to be the end of it. You can still get this edge of Ohio. I'm sure there's some homeless dudes out here you can throw in the military. What is that? Oh, that's just a huge statue, but the hand's gone. Look at the ships that they have. They have built so many ships out here. Okay, so is this going to be super one-sided or what? There are fires raging everywhere. Also, you dropped 
dropped a very far below a thousand population really fast. It's the it's the archers that are causing so much damage. They don't even care too. They'll just like uh they'll fire on all the buildings. This is the only part left. Where are all the people left? Oh, so you do have this corner still. The tornado. Oh wow, the tornado is actually kind of helping out. The tornado is throwing around a lot of this uh this military. They're trying to send in unit. Oh, it doesn't matter. They just disappeared. All right. Well, there you go. They won four thousand people. And I know nothing about this county. Oh, it's actually a combination between Butler and Preb. Blair, Ple whatever. Yeah, they were like a Union County, just north of Cincinnati and west of Dayton. I thought Cleveland was going to win too. Not surprised by this Ohio battle royale at all. Pretty normal day. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I forgot to kidnap you. Next date is March 19th, 2023. The Polish, Lithuanian, Quinn, Commonwealth, Taylor, Portugal John, is Denver, not Balkans, Good old Ryan, Iowa, AKA Barbados, Iowa, Barbados, Drew, if you don't come to Cracker, Paul, and I will find you in Grandpa. $20 uh, is a lot, Drew. Why am I Taylor doing this? Drew, Drew does every boy. Drew, 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 Drew,